Hi, uh, this is Jesse, and um, I wanted to do a an updated um, uh, video on my Shea Moisture products. So, as you know, I'm a big Shea Moisture junkie. I mean, I probably have like every product that they probably have. Um, I have what I counted over actually 50, 54 of their items. So, yeah. That's a little crazy, but, um, my, growing up, my hair, I always had problem hair with frizzy, uh, I had frizzy curly hair just growing up, and, um, I could never find products that worked well with my hair. Either make it too dry, or make it too oily, and it just never looked healthy, so I pretty much had my hair in a bun my entire like middle school, high school life. Um, so I want I, I went to the store one I went to actually Walmart one day, um, trying to look in at their aisles and see like what what can I, you know, get that will help me with my problem hair. And I saw Shea Moisture and actually it was the coconut and hibiscus um texture mix, mist or something like shine mist. Um and I brought that home, I used it and I absolutely loved it. It tamed my frizz really well. It made my hair really ni nice and soft. So I decided to figure out where c else can I buy these products besides Walmart. And I found out that Walgreens carries it, the their lines and stuff. And so I just went to their store and went a little Shea Moisture crazy and got a bunch of like got the shampoo, the conditioners, and I started off. I started off with the coconut and hibiscus line. Um, and then, over time, I, my collection grew because they're pretty much the only products I buy. I buy now. I I don't buy anything else. I don't buy any Dove. No nothing. Um, so I just want to get started and show you um, all the new products that I just recently got. I got one within the past month or so. So the first one I'm gonna start off with is a Fruit Fusion Coconut Water and Weight, weight Coconut Water Weightless Shampoo. That's what it looks like. It's kind of a thin liquid and it um, pours really well. Um, now, this shampoo, when I first tried it, um, it kind of stripped my hair. Um, which is okay if you want to like really thoroughly clean your hair. Um, so, I wouldn't recommend this for people that have naturally dry hair. Um, I would recommend this to someone that maybe has oily hair or like in the middle, like it's not dry, but it's not oily. Um, I just took, I, so I used this and then, um, I used the weightless cream rinse, which is, it's like a conditioner. Um, and this replenished the, um, the moisture in my hair. So it didn't, it didn't really matter. It, it wasn't no big deal that the shampoo kind of stripped my hair a little bit because this this fixed it. Um, so this is the weightless cream rinse. That's what it looks like. Comes with a pump. Um, it's, it's very thick. As you can see it's kind of uh, it's, it's called a cream rinse but it, I would consider it a um, conditioner. Um, and this product I absolutely I love this product. It's the same line, the Fusion Coconut and Coconut Water Weightless Texture Spray. Now, this is for fine to medium hair. I don't have fine to medium hair. My hair is thick, as thick as a horse's tail. Um, but after I took a shower and I dry off my hair um, a little bit, I actually use one of these. Uh, it's a Turby Twist. And you just put your hair into it and then you put that put that loop around the end and it keeps it in place um so after I kind of put that on my head for a little while um my hair will still be slightly damp I spray this all over my hair try not, try not to work try not to get it onto my roots but just mainly you know on my hair like that and um it when my hair completely dries it leaves it very soft and my curls are nicely defined and they're not frizzy. Um, so this product I, I absolutely love. You want to shake it 
before you use it because it can kind of separate a little bit. So that's that line, the, the fusion line. The next line that I'm going to talk about is the African black soap um, line. Now this is the dandruff, dandruff control shampoo. Now I've probably always had problem with dandruff, um, especially growing up. Um, when I was like probably in like elementary and middle school, I probably had I ha had some dandruff problems. Um, as I got older, my hair kind of changed to being a little bit more oily, so I didn't really get that that dandruff, you know. Um, so I actually got this product. Um, because I wanted it to kind of cleanse my scalp, and I thought that, you know, if it's working on dandruff, then obviously it's trying to clean your scalp. So I got this, and I, it works very, very well. It, clean, it clean, cleaned my scalp really, really well, and I didn't have any problems, you know, with any flaking. There was no, you know, nothing wrong with my hair after that. And then I, I got the the conditioner that matches it and um, I've only used this once so I can't really say how I feel about it um, it it worked well when I used it um, but before before um, I actually shampoo and condition my hair um, I will add this to my hair and this is the dandruff control pre poo rinse um, and it comes with like a little spray and you spray it on. Um, it says to leave it on th for three minutes. So I just put it on my hair, leave it for three minutes, and then I shampoo and condition. Um, so, I, so I got this and um, it works really, really well. Um, I also got the, um, the mask, the dandruff control hair mask. And obviously you can see that um, I like it a lot. <laughs> so I've only had it for a couple couple weeks now and I'm already almost out of this um no I do like this mask it um I didn't have any problems with it uh the smell is a little interesting kind of smells a little minty um uh but it's for a dry itchy scalp and I don't really have a dry itchy scalp but it works uh, um very well uh for me and then this line I absolutely love and it's the Tahitian Noni and Manoi smooth and repair conditioning uh, shampoo this is the shampoo one and um, as you can see it, it's kind of a little like liquidy like, it's not as thick as the, as the other sh shampoos I have like including like, the coconut and hibiscus and the yucca and baobab but um, I love the shampoo so much it has a very nice kind of tropical kind of smell to it um kind of kind of fruity mm. um has a little bit of like a little minty kind of scent to it um and i also got their conditioner um the conditioner works really really well too i noticed that when i use this sh these this two these two together and after i've put my hair in the turby twist and my hair is like 50% dry. My hair looks it feels so much better. My my, uh, my curls are defined. Um, there's no frizz or anything, which is really great. I mean, right now I'm on third day hair, and as you can see, there are no uh, really super frizzy areas. I mean, there's some frizz right there, but um, yeah. It's, it works works really well for me. Um, now I um, went to a store and I wanted to look at their Jamaican black castor oil wine, and I just I kind of smelt all the products um, that they have in that line, and for for some reason the smell just didn't sit well with me because it kind of smelt kind of like like Play-Doh. Some people have been saying like yeah it smells kind of like Play-Doh. And that's true, it does. So it's kind of for people that don't mind the smell, I guess. Um, but I did pick up this. And this is the Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Hair Serum. Now this one kind of has the same smell to it. 
but um, it's not as strong, which I, I'm surprised because it is a serum. But um, it comes like a, with a little bottle, like a little squirt bottle like this, and you just pop that off, and then you, you know, squirt it into your hands. And what you do is you just squirt it into like on the tip of your fingers, like right here, and then you kind of massage it into the scalp. Um, you can do this when your hair is dry, when it's wet, at night, in the morning, whenever you want. But um, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't have as strong as a smell, as strong of a smell as the other products in that line, which is really good. I use this every single day, probably one to two times a day, and usually in the morning and then right before I go to bed. So that's the only thing I got from that line. Um, there was one thing that I forgot to mention in the African Black Soap line, and this is the Problem Skin Facial Wash and Scrub. Now, um, I use this probably two times a week, um, because it says to only use once or twice weekly. Um, but it's, it has, like, little scrubbing, uh, beads in it, and, um, it has, um, the same kind of minty kind of smell as the shampoo, conditioner, and mask, um, but it works really, really well. I mean, once you get it nice and lathered onto your face and you rinse your face off and you're, you dry it, um, your, your face feels so, so nice and soft. Um, so I actually bought this one kind of like, uh, I don't really know if I want to, you know, buy something when I don't have a uh, problem skin and, but I'm like, you know what, might as well, you're having a buy one, get one, like, free or half off and um so I'm very glad that I did because it it works really well um and then the last few um the last line that I'm going to talk about is the um Zanzibar Marine Complex line now I was thinking about getting the shampoo and conditioner but I'm like no I already have like like 10 other conditioners and shampoos from Shea Moisture, so it's like, I don't really, and plus it's, um, their hair stuff is kind of mainly for, like, age defined color protect, and I've never, ever colored my hair, um, so I just decided to go with some of their, their body products, now, this one is the Replenish and Rejuvenate Hand Cream, now, I wash my hands a lot during the day, so my hands get really dry, like, like, um, in, like, the main back of my hand right here, and, um, so I, I use this, and it leaves your, your skin baby soft, um, I was even, like, considering thinking about using it, like, maybe on my face or whatever, um, but, yeah, I really like this, this, um, product, um, the other one that I got, was the Replenish and Rejuvenate Body Polish. I was going to get their um, body wash, but I'm like, I thought I thought the the idea of this being a polish because it has kind of little beads in it. I thought that would probably be better for m my skin, and um, it's very thick and it lathers really well, so I, I like it. And then the last thing that I got was. Um, the Zanzibar Marine Complex um, Age Defying Color Protect Leave-In Conditioner. Now I know that I said I didn't want to get any hair products from this line, but I really don't have any leave-in conditioners from Shea Moisture, I believe. I think I may have one. Um, so I decided to, you know, go with this one. And um, I can say that it works really, really well. Um, the scent is very pleasant. Many people actually were kind of complaining about the scent, saying that it was kind of too masculine, I guess. And I would say it does smell pretty masculine, but I, I think it smells really good. So, you know, um, whatever floats their boat, <laughs> I guess. So, um, that's pretty much everything I have. I got the Fruit Fusion line, I got the African black soap, the Tisha Noni Manoy, uh, something from the Jamaican cast, black cast royal, and then the Zanzibar Marine Complex. So, yeah, that's pretty much 
it and everything. And um, if there's any any like uh, pro Shame Moisture product that um, you want reviewed, just comment in the boxes below, and um, I would have no problem making um, a video um, for you. So please favorite, like, <laughs> you know, uh, add me. And um, also check on uh, Facebook for Shea Moisture. Um, they have a, sh uh, they have a fa Facebook page, so go and check them out. Um, they give you lots of great information, um, so definitely check it out. So, bye!